Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in the Container Garden Challenge. This challenge is being hosted by Lacey Space, hosted by Chrissy, Measure and Mix, and This and That with Denise. All three have outstanding channels here on YouTube. If you haven't seen them, make sure you go by and check them out after you finish watching my video. I will leave a link to all three of their channels below in the description box. I will also leave a link to the playlist so that you can check out the other participants in this garden, in this container garden challenge. I've already um, refreshed my deck for the season. Um, so I didn't have much space to do another container garden, but I did need a centerpiece. I did decide to make a small container garden centerpiece for my deck space. Um, so let's get started. Let me show you what I did. things like that from so I got the uh, is it Miracle organic potting mix from a local nursery here near me I think that's pretty good to start now this, the flowers I got from that same nursery these are uh, African daisies and I just thought they were so beautiful and I said yeah I have to have these and this is going to be my centerpiece, uh, the center of the centerpiece. It's not going to be a large, um, it's not going to be a large pot because the space that I'm putting it in is not very big. So I just take and loosen up the soil just a little bit so it has some place to go. right smack dab in the middle and that's where I want it to be but that's not deep enough. Oh just a hair deep. There we go. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Already. Mm -hmm. These are got from the same nursery. I got them for the color variation. They're called Disco Mariettas. Um, they're marigolds. They're good for deer. I have a lot of deer here in my and um, when I get the opportunity to repel them, I take advantage of it. I'm going to pack it apart, and then I start to pull these out. So, I mean, you know, it's really different.
That's the one thing I do like about live plants. They don't take much. It's more work, it's more prep work than anything. Prep time takes much longer than the actual <laughs> potting of the plant. To me, you know, in my opinion. Especially if you're putting them in the ground. Um, as I had mentioned in a video that I did before, I like pots. I like to uh, plant inside the pot. I enjoy that. They're portable and they're easier for me to manage. them in there a little bit. Not too much, but enough. Just enough. I told you this would be quick. And it was. Just like that. Boom. Gorgeous. Now I just need to water it. I'm going to clean up here a little bit. Okay guys, we're all done. It's not a big pot, it's a small pot for a small space outside on my deck. 
Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. Again, thanks for watching. Come back. Tune in next week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.